few big things. Massive. This week we're going to treat everyone with the love and compassion that they deserve. Are we? Yeah. Welcome to YouTube. A loving, compassionate community. Love Island. Sex Peninsula. I'm just thinking of spin-offs. I've never watched it, but everyone's banging on about it. Fuck Mountain. And we do current events, bullshit, internet. Sure. Mm -hmm. So I guess we've got to cover it. Let's meet um, a lot of people desperate to be famous. Hi, I'm Jo. I'm Amy. I'm Anton. I'm Amber. Callum. Anna. First thing I've noticed. Whoa! This ain't Lady Gaga. She wasn't born this way. Those are ridiculous. You can't even see him. Oh, you're talking about the lips. Yeah. Right. I'm Lucy. Michael. You one day. Tommy. Do you know that's Tyson Fury's brother? Him. Little brother. Wow. Tommy Fury is the name. Love Island's the game. <laughs> is the goal of this show to piss you off? Yes. Find someone and fuck them, and then win a show or something. Is that it? Yeah. So the winners are the ones that pair it up and manage to leave the island as sort of a couple. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cunts in. So I've been a firefighter for almost two years. Looks and personality wise, I'd say I'm a 10. I would say a humble nine, but being a hero kind of bumps me up to that 10. We respect our fire firefighters in the UK. They put their lives on the line to save others. I respect yeah. that. Any firefighter watching this though will look at him and say, Fuck, he's me. a cock. You're a cock, you're a cock. So my type of girl, I'm not really that fussy looks wise. As long as I have that initial attraction. Fuck off. Are you not that fussy? I'm not that fussy looks wise. Good. As long as I've got that initial attraction. Fuck off. If I could be what I'm like with the boys around them and they actually like me for it, I'll stick a ring on it. When I'm thinking of getting married, you know, I look over, I think, stick a ring on that object. Brilliant. Stick a ring on What's it. What's that? Bang! Stuck a ring on it, didn't I? Yeah. Because oh, you got a flat arse and no tits and just a mediocre face. Yeah, I'll stick a ring on it. Yeah. No problem. I'd marry a corpse. <laughs> There is 70% of me which is an old man in a young person's body. He's got a saggy dick, balls and dick. You look at him, you think, normal-ish. That's why I he's gone for that sort of quiffy... Yeah, Ollie White. He looks exactly like Ollie White. Ollie's a bit of an old man in a young person's body. Yeah. He's an old man in a mid, uh, sort of middle-aged person. Sort of a middle... yeah. <laughs> I like 50s, 60s music. Absolutely love it, in fact. Yeah, can I just say one thing? If you like old music, it doesn't make you old. I like mm. Beethoven. I don't say I'm 200 years old, mate, all right? You wouldn't understand him. He's complex. Yeah, you know I, mean? I like Celtic chanting, Brian. Doesn't make me 2,000 years old. what he's trying to say is he's different. He stands out. Yeah. He's got his own thing going on. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? In many ways, I'm elvish at heart because I really love the Lord of the Rings music. Mm. Not the way it works. I'd like to think I'm the full package from the waist down. That's not a complex to yourself. I'm the full package from there. So what you're saying is you're the <laughs> upper half terrible. You're all dick. Dog shit. You're all dick. Might be bad up here, love, but I can fuck good. If I describe myself in three words. Cunt, cunt, cunt. <laughs> I'm funny, honest. Funny, bubbly, bubbly. Energetic. Sassy and a bit of a diva. You know people who call themselves sassy and a bit of a diva, instant trouble. I'm a bitch, but I think I'm good looking enough to get away with it. Yeah. Well, you're wrong. I'll treat people like shit until I'm 40 and my looks start to fade <laughs> and then I won't understand it anymore. I'm a diva? No, you're an asshole, is what you mean. Yeah. You're horrible to people. And then when they don't react well, you go, well, <laughs> Sorry if you can't handle my sassy personality. No one wants to come near you. When someone goes, oh, I didn't really like her, you go, I hate people who bitch. They're not bitching about you, they're stating a fact. <laughs> oh, I hate people who don't like me. Yeah, cause you're an asshole. <laughs> Iggy Azalea has had nude pictures of her breasts released by GQ magazine. They didn't release them, but they took the pictures and somehow they've made their way onto the internet. She's not a happy bunny. Today, I'm a ball of negative emotion. Oh. Mm. I feel blindsided, embarrassed, violated, angry, sad, and a million other things. Possibly happy. <laughs> not solely because I did not consent to this, but also because of the vile way people have reacted. Mm. Bad, bad, bad. Vile way. It's important to me that someone actually be held accountable for their actions and the way it impacts my life. Now, you're saying, or other people are saying, hey, but we've seen all your other bloody nudes and your boobs and your, you know, when you've put it out there, it's been fine. I mean, she does look good, but that's not the point. She should have fucking the option to put out what she wants. I get that. But if you post a shitload of revealing pictures of yourself, including ones where you're wearing see-through tops, your tits out, you're constantly putting that out there, then eventually the world is not going to see your body as a fucking temple. Eventually they're going to see you as fair game. You're constantly fucking revealing. Right. Anyway... And people are just going to be like, ah, oh, it's just Iggy's, Iggy's tits, no big deal. Like, That's actually a Blink-182 album, Iggy's tits. If it was Jennifer Lopez or Beyonce or Britney Spears, where well, they've been very limited on what they've released on a long career and their bodies are not just 
out there, then it, it would be big news. But this is just... The reason it's becoming big news is because she's reacting to it and blowing it up. And it just so happened to come out the day before her album or whatever. So. Did it? That's inconvenient. No, it also happens. The photos are actually quite good photos. They're, she looks unbelievable on right. these pictures. Right, Okay. In my opinion. I mean, you know, I hope um, the album does well. Yeah, I respect her right to not have this release, but just put so much shit out, you sell it. If I posted loads of topless pictures and someone else released another one of me where I'm on a beach somewhere, then I can't really complain. The horse is bolted, is yeah. what you're saying. That giant boob horse is halfway the down the beach. giant titties. As some of you have probably already heard, KSI and Deji are beefing again. Deji's made a video accusing JJ of some things, and Deji now has been gaining subscribers for the first time in a long time and JJ is actually losing subscribers. So it all started with one of his friends ridiculing my channel. Name a dead YouTube channel. Well, Deji. <laughs> I didn't appreciate it considering I'm not friends with the guy really. I spent time in America with him but I didn't see him as a friend but he was close to my brother so I considered him Somewhat family. But you're not a friend, you're somewhat friend? family. Somewhat family. <laughs> oh, you're not a friend, you're uh, like you're him. a cousin. We yeah, like you're a brother. We haven't got 45 minutes, Lawrence. What did he say? He basically says JJ bullied me in videos. It was kind of a brother dynamic, older brother, younger brother dynamic. I'm not saying it's a healthy dynamic, but it's a dynamic we see in a lot of relationships. It's, it's, it's one that happened. Yeah. And Deji looked like he, he was all right with it at the time. He was sort of playing along. But now in retrospect, Deji's not happy with that. He's then not happy about JJ sleeping with a girl that he liked because in many ways, it sounds a bit like Deji saying, I had dibs. What happens with women is, if men like them, right. they choose who they want to sleep with, and then they sleep with them. Right. And sometimes, we've just got to live with those decisions. Yeah, and you can't own a woman. You don't go, hey, that one's mine. In the last month, he's got <laughs> less than a million views for the most part, yeah. the whole time. And then, he goes from insulting JJ, 7.2 million. He's gone too far, 2.7. The clicks are coming, and he's mm. about to hit 10 million subscribers yeah. when he's been stuck on 9.7 for what seems like eternity. If he hasn't done it for clicks, then that's unfortunate. I mean, it's unfortunate for him. It's just, uh, I mean, for nightmare. him. A nightmare. Yeah, this must be a, a living nightmare for him. What I would say is, I do feel very sorry for him in the sense that he's, there's something called a pain pattern that he seems to be trapped in. And he just does the same thing over and over and over again. Doesn't quite know how to break it. And that would annoy me if I was around him because I'd think you're better than this. Sometimes I look at, well, do I? Anyway. Uh, do you think Deji's being manipulative towards yes, people? Yes, but I don't know if Deji knows he's being manipulative towards <laughs> Not people. Not deliberate. No. Drink every time he says thank you. I want to start off this video by saying thank you all of you for your support. All your emails, all your tweets, all your Instagram DMs, everything. Thank you so much for your support. Such a politician. I love it. He's the Donald Trump of YouTube right now. I think he's more like the Ed Miliband. It's just, it's just like, it's just like wrong. It seems like a lot of you were going through like the same issue that I was going through. And it seems that I opened your eyes. Oh, pastor, you've opened my eyes. Oh, it, Devil be gone. He really feels like he's exposed, JJ. Yeah. yeah. He feels like he's won. For everyone who's supporting me, all of you, I want to say thank you so much. The support is overwhelming. This is him feeding into people. Like, he said, thank you, thank you. It's smart what he's doing. It's not thank you, it's though. It's smart, though. He, what he's saying is, you're on the right side. When I, was I a feel kid. like he could start his own version of like Scientology, did you? Oh, I, yeah. I, I think people would actually buy into it as well. Dumbontology. Uh, uh, some of you even sent me emails, you know, saying that what that you're going through the exact same thing. What does these emails say? Are, are I've got 10 million subscribers. <laughs> my brother's got 20 million. He keeps fucking the girls out. That That's a weird email. I have an equivalent situation, but in South Korea. Uh, how can anyone relate to this? I just want to say all of you people, thank you so much. I've received a lot of emails. I'll probably say over 100,000. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. People don't care that much about the climate, Deji. Maybe someone's spelling it one letter at a time and sending the emails. I'm pretty sure he read the first few emails in his inbox and thought, yeah, shitload. And then he looked at the number and the rest were just like, if, have, you, <laughs> Do you need Viagra? Have, have, you, have you got finance and shit like that? It's regular. He's like, 100,000. Kept turning to his dad and going, there's a Nigerian prince here who wants to give us money. I, I could, you brought a huge smile on my face. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I don't think nice. that this should be a thing to smile about for him, even if he's winning the war against his brother. Though. I see it from his perspective. He thinks he's the good guy in this. He thinks he's Batman. And not a single person on this planet has helped Deji's life more than JJ. Not one person. Mrs. Olatunji. No, but like, not one person. It's actually sickening. 
when I look at it because this is a serious situation and he's treating it like a joke. You're uploading on your YouTube channel instead of getting in direct contact. Literally, he's got his phone number, yeah. so you can't take this seriously. Putting lol and ha ha ha. Phrases that Deji won't have heard on Comedy Shorts Gamer in quite some time. <laughs> Whenever anyone sends me something funny, I want a little video I can send them of him doing that. Lol and ha ha ha. It was not an attack, it was literally to bring, show him awareness as well how he's been treating me. You want to talk about maturity? You want to talk about being a man? Act like a man. Deji has fought in front of thousands of people. You've done things which required courage before. Approach your brother, man to man, when there's no one else in the fucking room, and have this out of him. Talk it out. If you're literally saying that this isn't for views, this isn't bullshit, have the courage to go man to man and air your differences out when there's no one else in the fucking room. Not telling the world on him, not telling mom and dad on him. Just go to each other and have the chat and get it over and done with. The best thing that JJ can do in this situation is either just get one-on-one -on -one with this guy or never refer to it ever again. YouTuber Jake Paul sparks backlash as he advertises for intern that will be paid it's fun. I've seen in an interview this guy wanted to be the Dr. Dre of YouTube. That's how you get rich, Jay. Pay them in fun. Dr. Dre often, when 50 Cent would turn up to the studio, would go, I can give you 50% fun from this album? Yeah. And 50 went, Dr. absolutely. Dr. If you're a young, aspiring music producer and engineer, please read. We're in need of a full-time in-house producer slash engineer who will mainly act as an engineer for us. Acting as an engineer. This will be an internship position and will provide you with real life experience, connections, exposure, and a whole lot of fun. Excuse me, are you a sound engineer? Yes. How much fun can we pay you in? Why are you getting an intern when you can definitely afford to pay them? Jake does some cunty shit. And this is just one of those things, isn't it? I'm sort of disappointed in it. Roven, can we pay you today in fun? Okay, I'll give you 200 fun. Can we hire maybe like a, a woman? Maybe you could pay her in dick. I mean, that's not legal, is it? No, I don't believe that's prostitution. That? No, you can't. Don't even inquire. It looks bad in HR. Hey guys, this episode of True News is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Wow. Well, you want to be anonymous online, Brian, sometimes. Like, it's like when no, you're sitting really. around your hut, really? Nothing, hey. You want everyone to know. You have nothing tied in your house, but do you want everyone looking in? Mm, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I'm just sort of worried why people need to do this. Well, because some people want privacy online uh, when they're, they're worried. Not. Well, freaks. Exactly, but also uh, you. What are you being looking at? What are you being Googling? Probably not stuff nearly as bad as you. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, you look at terrible stuff online, which I mean, is probably. It's, it's perfectly legal yeah but there's sometimes where you just want to order something and you just think probably don't want anyone to know i've ordered that right like uh, a colander for your mum just um, something where you can sort of use it for a good time right okay a blow up uh holiday paddling blow up pool. paddling pool brilliant because then you can bounce around in it and yeah. have all the best times now the thing is brian would you want hackers would you even want your own mum to know what you're going on online uh, exactly no she said she can do oh, she yeah. said that well she yeah. would if she'd seen what okay. you've been on yeah okay. so if you've got express you haven't heard that from them. not directly Oh, no, right, I mean, right, you know, just I just, it's sometimes... I do leave my laptop open sometimes. And you don't want her sort of logging in, looking at your history, so which is why you need ExpressVPN. Okay, okay. Uh, so if you, say, wanted to use ExpressVPN and have some privacy online, can we just have some privacy, please? Yeah, let me just order my blow up puddling pool in peace. Sure. Or uh, say I wanted to hide the fact I was getting a holiday for us together to go somewhere. You're you know? doing that. Yeah, well... ExpressVPN.com forward slash Geordie. That's expressvpn.com forward slash Geordie for three months free with a one year package. No one can ever see just how fucked up you are. Three months free with a one year package. It's well worth it. And of course, if you want to support True News, this is the way to do it because we rely on people like ExpressVPN in order to get this done. Thank you, ExpressVPN. Otherwise, we die. <laughs> Leaving the news and moving on to pop culture. Here's three ways, Brian. Oh, three common mistakes made in a street fight. This is a man who runs three successful businesses, but apparently not on a treadmill. What's up? What do you mean, what's up? Get me no, no, no. Good, good, good. Guys, up. Very good. Thank you, Hassan. Thank you, Shin. Mistake number one in a street fight, thinking it's going to be a fair fight. Sometimes you're walking down the street, someone try to rob you, someone try to pour a weapon on you, someone, or maybe in a, in, in a bar, you're walking down at night in the street, especially also the ladies. I haven't seen what he knows martial arts wise yet, but it's probably bullshit. Although one thing I would say is- They're looking I'm, at a fraud. I'm not sure if this man's business relies on his communication skills. They might do something like this. Watch. I I'm sorry, do you have some change? Oh. That's a good point though. Literally, you didn't give me that a is, chance no, to that's not funny. change. Yeah, that's not funny. You could have had all this change. Yeah. Now you've got blood all over Take you. Take the change. Yeah. So it's not a fair fight. How do you know they don't have a weapon? How do you know they don't have a gun? 
how do you know they don't have the friend? And how and also the situation in the street, what if it's raining? What if it's sunny? What if it's snowing? How do you know if it's raining, if it's sunny, if you're indoor, if you're outdoor? How do you know how those things? You know? Life is unpredictable. It's a good point. I went out in shorts and it rained. He might be a very good fighter. This just gives me 10, 20 years of advantage as a martial artist. He's explaining to you how a knife gives you an advantage in a fight. Honestly, Joe Rogan, watch out. Mistake number two. What do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be wear shoes. You don't wear enough shoes when not fighting, I all right, Brian? I, I You're not wearing clothes. Be more really basic things. So yeah. It's got to be something like it's run like away if you can or something. Right, like okay. You give the attacker the signal that you want to fight. How's, how is that the thing? What signal am I giving? I want to know what the signals are, Brian. I'd love to know what the signals are. Here we go. The minute you put up your hand, what does that tell you? I'm going to fight. You want to fight. Yeah. <laughs> this, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to explode from here. Wow. So, <laughs> Michael <Bisexual>. Jackson. <laughs> Smooth criminal. Yeah, I was thinking that. Someone between Michael Jackson and Elvis. Yeah. Don't give any verbal warning. The dumbest, hey, what, 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 what? What you gonna do? What's the man, what, what the fuck, what the fuck, man? He's watched a lot of American movies, hasn't he? A lot of he, Rob he, Van Damme. He, he's watched Die Hard just too many Hey, times. what, man? What? What you gonna do? What you gonna do, huh? So the first point is, they might have a knife. They might have a gun. It's not fair. They might be in the snow, the rain, the sun, night and day. Wind. You don't know what's coming. A sucker punch them. Yeah. Be unpredictable yourself. They're going to be unpredictable. Mm. You be unpredictable. Yeah. Six and a half minutes. That's what we've got. The other tip within that point is, even when you don't know if someone wants to fight or not, punch them. Yeah. Am I right? That's that often my well, you, advice. You've got to strike first. Yeah, you? exactly. So Old it. woman approaches you. Can you tell me the direction? She Bang! might have a knife. She's down. <laughs> All right. That woman is dead on the floor. Yes. But you are safe. Die, old woman. Yeah. This guy just spouting shit, right? And part, um, and it's all partly true. You could do this video if you knew nothing about fighting. Yeah, Wait, I want to see what other shit this guy does. He, he must be an absolute bullshit. No, he must be an amazing person. He's got more. Oh. Oh. How to develop self awareness? Yeah. Wow. How do you develop self awareness? Knowing yourself, ultimately, all knowledge means self. -awareness. Knowledge. How is this guy so fucking rich? How's this guy got no self awareness? All knowledge, me uh, self knowledge. You, you, that. <laughs> you know what I love? He goes, It's all about self awareness. Here's five pictures of my Bentley. So, how do you actually develop self awareness? I believe there are two main ways to do it. Number one, you could do it in a way where when you've gone through a lot of hardships, a lot of struggles. I'm literally having a great life. I've been I've been born to a wonderful family. We, the family had money, doing pretty good in school. Things are going good. I want to know what business to invest in, Lawrence. Help me find out. No, no, no Brian. Struggle. You've got to fuck your life mm. up. You've got to go and take a lot of drugs. Struggle. You've got to lose your job. Wow. You've got to end up getting evicted from the house. I don't know if that's in what order he's... for you to find self awareness. Right. I don't you know if that's can't what he's... do that. Without right. Struggle. Okay. Right. Yeah, and there are a lot of different personality tests out there right uh, even like strength finders what are your strength what are your what are you good at what are your weaknesses what are you not good he's at he's so, donald trump he is donald trump this guy just speaks in generalisms yeah. every oh, time it's amazing how it, i've never known someone speak so long and say so little we just watched dead cheese video but. i might be a little old now but arnold schwarzenegger was drop kit by a guy the video shows arnold schwarzenegger taking photos and talking to fans when out of nowhere there's this shocking moment Someone drop kicks the former governor and Terminator star. Have you seen the other angle? Yeah, I think it, they show the other angle later in the report. Yeah, you go, here yeah. you go. Attack at 71 and in incredible shape. He actually doesn't look all that bothered by it, they does call he? Him the, they, they used to call him the Oak. Yeah. And you can see why the motherfucker is built. He, at 71, took a drop kick to the back and moved two steps. Don't get me wrong, the technique on that drop kick was fucking shambolic. Although most people couldn't even get to that point. Arnie, one of the life's good guys. I think he's good in a lot of ways. He, Some questionable politics, he's, but... He's uh, been taking W's for forever, man. He's a winner. I've sent this. This man sings a song just to many different tunes. Let me know if you like the song. Brian sucks the big one. Brian sucks big dick. Brian sucks the big dick. Brian sucks a big dick. Brian sucks. Brian sucks. Thank you. He sucks a dick. Brian sucks. Brian sucks. Look at her. <laughs> Do you know what I would think if I was her? 
Why are you thinking of another man sucking dick? Have you seen this yet? No. This is Steve-O climbing up a massive crane in an attempt to sort of a protest against SeaWorld. We got lots of fire trucks, tons of cops, and we got Shammy! Woo! I really respect him for this. I think he's hot in the right place, but also you've got a fire engine out there and probably an ambulance and cops who probably should be doing like proper work. Yeah. Where people are actually like in need. Oh yeah, so he's definitely killed at least five, six well, people. No, it's, time. Yeah, it was, yeah, it's just a pain in the arse, isn't it? But yeah. I, I think he's speaking out on the right thing. Yeah, just I just thought it's crazy. Well bad. What question would you ask, Wild Man, if you could, Brian? That's right. Can you wank in prison? I'd personally say is when you just fucking got a ticket and you go in the, the hole. So when he's you, on about a disciplinary ticket in prison. You go in the hole, lockdown bit of privacy. There's only you in the cell. Sean sure, really thinking memories. I love how casually these di guys discuss a hard life in prison. As if it's just like, I went round court, bought myself a six pack, straight back cell. The guards walk like clockwork, like you said, maybe every 30 minutes, security walk or head count. So if you could time your wank into under 30 minutes. Just the casual way he's sort of sitting there just I, listening I just, to this. I just like the way Sean is like precision wank. Yeah, two middle-aged men sitting on a couch telling young people how they, they wank. You've got to keep it under 30 minutes, guys. Yeah. You might get your wanks down to less than 30 minutes then. Or did you? Fucking hell, I got wanked down in five minutes. And <laughs> You've got to love these two. Like, you just have to love these guys. They're like, oh, they're great, aren't they? Have you ever seen 50 Cent but dating your mum? When I date a new girl, her family usually freaks out when I meet them for the first time. So I thought I'd have some fun with that. But this time I'm trying something new. Your mom. You know, I wanted to talk to you about something. Are they in on this? So the mum's in on this. No, but the, do you think this is real? Because these always seem like really bad acting jobs. Tell me what you think. I wanted to tell you that back in high school, I was dating this guy and we were actually in love with Okay. Curtis, Curtis, would you come out here and meet Georgie, please? I don't know what you heard about me. Oh, nah. <laughs> it's just his face. Like these kids' faces when he walks out. I lost my virginity to your mom. He's such a joker, isn't he? He's evil. He's evil. Yeah, we got him. This is really He's funny. Still hammering young book to this day. Oh yeah. To this day. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, so happy. Oh, so happy. What the f just happened? When women I've dated have uh, introduced me to their families, yeah. especially dads, mm -hmm. they're no longer able to imagine their daughters as their sort of innocent little daughter. Because they're looking at me like, there's no way this guy's like, you know, not ruining her. Uh, this is called Death Stranding. I want to know whether you're sort of into it. I think we should get into reviewing video games okay. just to get people to send us for them for free. That's fucking terrifying. Oh, now he's waking up. Huh? It looks very Metal Gear. Exactly. Which is why I thought you'd like it. But instead of being just military, you have to deal with ghosts and spirits and those kind of things. No doubt it'll be a total letdown, but I'm excited. You then get put in a forest where there are demons, but you cannot see them. You can only see them moving. It's pretty scary. There. Oh. So that's where they all are, but then they disappear. Wow. How freaking intense does that look? Yeah. Anyway, there's like loads of characters, loads of really famous actors in here. It looks pretty good. <sighs> I mean, come November the 8th, we'll know. Okay, Brian, we don't need you anymore. No, we don't need you anymore. We can get a robot to do all the things and say all the things. They just won't wear the silly clothes. Yeah, I think I'm still needed. Nah, shut up, because look, they just need one picture of you. We present a system that can learn realistic talking head models. Notably, learning of a new head model requires just a handful of images. In this example, the model was learned from eight frames. Eight frames, Brian. That's not even a second of footage. Imagine like where they'll be in 10 years. Yeah. You will not know whether you've said something or it's a will any trick video where it's like, we pretended to be Brian. And if anyone accuses me of anything, then there you go. I've yeah. I'll get out of jail now. Yeah, pretty it much. It was the robots. You pull the fake out, as Kanye West says. Oh yeah, I thought, I thought you'd want to see this. So, Brian, your wedding day is going well. What do you immediately think to do? That's I right, Brian. Skateboard down the street. Oh no, it's... Oh, you shouldn't be doing that in a dress, darling. Oh no. Oh, oh no, this is bad. No. Did she fall face first there yeah. as well? Oh, she looks terrible there. Yeah. She looks like an idiot there. Yeah. She looks like a moron who wanted to skateboard on her wedding day instead of getting in a car like a sensible person. Any sense, Let's do it. something wacky and cookie and be different. Everyone wants to be different these days, lads. Everyone wants to be wacky. You know what happens when you try and be different and it's stupid? You fall flat on your face on the best day of your life and you ruin it.
Mm. Let me show you this. Say it? You see that golden buzzer? Um, if you go back, you see that there was a kid with autism, a blanket. Oh yeah, autism, yeah, and yeah. He sings. Yeah. I amazing. mean, I'm sure you've all seen it. I was like almost in tears. I almost cried. I'm not a fucking uh, soft shit. Right. So I held it in like a man. Uh, yeah, the schools here. There's uh, Robert Bakewell Primary School. I'll let you through, mate. Yeah, thank you. No worries. That's all right, mate. Nice and friendly. I am. He's recording himself driving around a school, right? Uh, Probably don't want to do that. So I'm coming towards McDonald's now on uh, Barsby Road, and uh, nothing's happened to me. <laughs> and nothing. <laughs> nothing happened. As if he's Start the video again, mate. So I'm a bit disappointed uh, Kitty hasn't seen me, or I haven't seen Kitty. Eh? Well, that's the way life goes. Is he searching for a cut? I don't know. What who was he are, doing? Who are these conceptual people? I think someone threatened him and said, don't come round Barsby Road. And then he went and filmed himself there. Oh, so that's what this is about. This is a hard man flex. He went, I came to your ends. You did nothing. This man is just flexing. I like a whisker. Love a whisker. Uh, like all kinds of whiskies. And then when I found, found out this, uh, this whisky was out, I thought, right, I've got to do it. So as you've read from the title, She's got a knife now. Uh, oh my God, that guy earlier warned us at any moment the person could just pull out a knife. We, he did we it. never seen a comment. He yeah. was right. He Ninja. nailed it. How's that look? That looks absolutely stunning, don't it? That looks a real nice, golden, rich whisker. Try it there, mate. Do you like uh, a darker one? It's thicker. It's thin, isn't you it? You can really smell Feel, the water. Yeah, to me, it's nice. I agree. Have we got any proper 12? Yeah, we do have some of them. Do you want to sip with him? Uh, yeah, fuck it. Oh, you, that smells better, actually, than I remember it. Yeah, the vanilla, you can definitely... I like the vanilla. Yeah. How much do you want? Just a little shot of it, not much. Yeah, just enough. It took me till, till I'm older Yeah. to appreciate whiskey. Yeah. I, I never really enjoyed it. You, your dad seems to have educated you on that shit. I think it's like my family are all whiskey yeah. men. They're good men. Cheers. Okay. You're getting the wood coming through, the toasted wood, you're getting lots of vanilla, and you're just getting the sweetness of the honey. You are getting that honey, aren't you? You do get the vanilla. He's right. His review is correct. June, would you like to try a sip and give your uh, verdict to the public? That is nice. It is, isn't it? It's, mm. it's nice and smooth. It's, it's got a bit of a burn, hasn't it? Well, all whiskies do have a... It's supposed to. Isn't yeah, but it's... You know what I really love is he's got a very cultured hand. Mm. He does this a lot. And you really know what he means when he does this. His hands are really expressive. This is just a nice, smooth whiskey. It's... That is really, really good. This man is becoming a real food reviewer. What is your favorite mixer with whiskey? Apple juice. Since you tried that, with me mm -hmm. in our trip to Monaco. If you haven't seen it, do check it out on the channel now where we drive a Lamborghini. Apple juice really does go down well with it. Yeah. It's amazing. Apple juice is a great mixer with most alcohols. We don't have any, unfortunately. For, no. We have uh, some berries. Yeah. I mean, shall I pour that in, see what mm, happens? I don't no? think that'll work. Uh, I think that's quite enough. For I love Blue Van Man. Yeah, he's just a great guy. Go over, drink with him on the channel if you're of age. Cheers good to time. you lot. Cheers to you lot. To the True News fans. And those of you that watch to hate. See Cheers. ya. Cheers, guys.